In my previous video, I already showed you how to implement share app feature in Android applications. Now in this video, I am going to show you how to implement rate this app feature in the Android app. So let us start the video. Hello friends, welcome back to Ireka Tech Solutions. We can implement this feature in two ways. One is standard way wherein user will be redirected to the Play Store app on clicking the rate icon or button to rate and review the app. The other one is in-app review feature wherein the user will be prompted to submit Play Store rating and review without leaving the app. So in this video, I am going to show you the standard way of implementation and I will also explain some important points about in-app review API usage at the end of this video. So to implement the rate app feature, first let us add the icon on toolbar. You can also add a button or you can show alert dialog for this based on your requirements. So I am taking here the rate icon from vector assets. The icon was downloaded to drawable folder. Now add the menu option for rate app. Go to menu options.xml add item for rate app feature. Add id, icon, show as action always and title of the item as rate. Then open the activity.java class and handle that menu option. For this, you already know we have to override on create options menu and on options item selected methods. This was done for share app feature already here. So now let me handle rate app feature. For that, check for menu item ID rate. Here we should open this app in Google Play to provide the rating and review. But if the device does not have Google Play installed, what to do? For that, adding catch block to open the app in Play Store from the browser. So first let us create the intent with action view and set data with uri.parse. Here we need to pass the app's Play Store URL. As I already explained in my previous share app video, Play Store URL is same for all the apps except the package name. For WhatsApp see here till id equal to it is common URL string with WhatsApp package name. Same way for Facebook till here it is common and the id is Facebook application id. So take that URL till id equal to the URL is same for even share app but I am adding it once again for your understanding. Now add the URL with your app's package name. Get package name. This package name is nothing but your app's application id which will be unique per app. Now add set package com.android.vending. By adding this you are asking the intent to open the google play store app on the device to see your app's details. Then start activity with rate intent. Now let us handle catch block for activity not found exception. In case if the device does not have google play installed. Then the app will be opened in the Google Play Store from the device browser. Now run the app. Rate icon was added. Click on this icon. Google Play was opened but something went wrong message was shown because this app is not published in the Play Store. So for testing purpose let me take this Facebook package name and replace here. Now run the app again. Click on rate icon. See the Facebook app is shown in Google Play. Here user can rate the app and add review and submit. Now let us see the execution of catch block. This block is executed when the Google Play Store app was not found on the device. So let me take an another emulator. See in this emulator Google Play Store app is not installed. Now change the package name here for testing purpose and run the app. Click on rate icon. See it opened browser with your URL and you can view the app on Google Play Store web page. So this way you can redirect users to view the app with that particular package name in Google Play Store. So to test this feature for your app you can make alpha or beta releases in Google Play console and test it in devices. There is another way to handle rate the app feature that is Google Play in-app review. By using in-app review API, you can submit apps rating and review within the app itself. But the API works only for specific config conditions like this in-app review feature works only on the devices running Android 5.0 or higher and also the device must have the Google Play Store installed. 
Your app must be using Java version 8 for compilation and very important point here is Google Play enforce a time bound quota and how often a user can be shown the review dialog. Means you cannot show the review dialog within a short period of time for example less than a month because of this quota. And also you should not have a call to action option such as button or icon to trigger the in-app review API as user might have already hit their quota. In such case again you need to redirect the user to the play store instead which is the standard way that I already explained. But if you still want to know how to integrate this in-app review API let me know in the comments then I will definitely do a video on this. If you like my explanation please like the video and subscribe to iRecatech Solutions. Thank you.